multiplying decimals with number chips. This is a digital lesson, and this one is space-themed. The lesson starts with explaining how to shift the decimal points when you're multiplying. And then it gives a couple of examples here. Here we're going to, multi we're going to move the decimal point one place to the right, and then you multiply as if there were no decimal points, and then when you get your answer, you're going to move that decimal point back one place to the left. And here's an example of when you have to move the decimal point twice, so two places to the right, and when you get your answer, you move it back two places to the left. So students are going to start on slide five, and they're going to be moving these number chips into the correct place for their multiplication. The first thing they want to do is look at each row of their multiplication and they want to type here how many places they need to move that decimal point. So here they have to move it two places to the right to make it a whole number. And then the second row they have to move one place to the right. So that means they're moving a total of three places to the right. So the first thing they want to do is fill out these three boxes. Now they're going to move the number chips. So it starts out with some fairly simple multiplication and gets more difficult as they go. So here if we multiply 4 times 2, we're going to get 8. So they click and hold on the 8 and they move it into place. So here we're multiplying as if there were no decimal points and these were whole numbers. 4 times 1, going from right to left, and then 4 times 3 would be 12. Now every slide has every number the students need. So as these problems get more difficult and they get toward the end, the numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error somewhere and they need to go back and check. Now the last thing they need to do is place their decimal point. So this is a movable decimal point. And it says you're going to move back three places to the left. So here, starting here, one, two, three, and here's the decimal point for their answer. Now every slide also has a letter and a yellow heart. So on the very last slide there's a space riddle and they're going to be matching the letter to their answer in order to solve the riddle. So the next slide, a little bit different. Again, how many places are we moving that decimal point? To the right in the top row and the second row and then that's a total of four places you're moving that decimal point to the right. So again, we're going to multiply. 2 times 7 is 14. We're going to carry a 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and 2 times 6 is 12. And then we don't need to multiply with the 0. Now we're going to move that decimal point back. 4 places to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we get our answer. So students have a few more. Here we have two rows of numbers to, to, in our multiplication. So fill in the boxes first and then do the multiplication. Don't forget that this last row or second row starts with a zero because we're multiplying by 20 and not two. And then they're going to place that decimal point in their answer. So as you can see, these get a little bit more difficult as they go. And when they get to the final slide, then they have all of these possible answers. So they're going to go back over the previous slides. They're going to find these answers and then type in the letter in the yellow heart above its answer, above its product. If they've done this correctly, they will solve the riddle. And so that is a digital lesson on multiplying decimals with number chips, the space theme.